नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्मुसंदा भगवदीतेषिणी भगवदगीता विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल गेव इनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉड इज शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ रीबर्थ I meditate upon you. Krishna Vandana, Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kansa Chanu Ramardanam Devakim Paramanandam Krishna Vande Jagat Guru. Son of Vasudeva, the slayer of Kansa and Chanu, extreme delight for Mother Devaki, O Lord Krishna, the supreme teacher of the universe. my salutations to you so today we will read the second shloka of uh, the fourth adhyay gnana karma sanyas yoga of shrimad bhagavad gita the gnana karma sanyas yoga that uh, shri krishna is teaching us after his teachings pertaining to the sankhya yoga the karma yoga and now he is going to tell us about renunciation of action uh, leading to the ultimate knowledge shri krishna says uh, in in the first verse shri krishna told us the uh, <coughs> the, the, the historical uh, feature of this knowledge that this yoga this path that he had already shown he had already shown at the start of creation to vivaswat the sun lord he was what uh, uh, further gave it down to his son manu manu then gave it to his son what is to his son this grand knowledge his his great son ikshvaku and in that royal dynasty this knowledge of the knowledge of this path of this yoga it has been going down generations after generations now shri krishna says but what had happened somewhere down the line this great knowledge that shri krishna is now teaching arjuna and now he is teaching us it had got kind of uh, hidden somewhere mysteriously this knowledge had become known to the races to the future races and now shri krishna says why that had happened the knowledge which the lord himself had given to the the the, the uh, vivaswata the sun lord at the time of creation and then it had come down to generations evam uh, now shri krishna says evam parampara praptim imam rajarshayo viduhu सकाले नेह महता योगो नष्टः तंतप श्री कृष्ण इज एड्रेसिंग अर्जुना हियर एज परंतप द स्कॉर्चर ऑफ द एनिमीज द स्कॉर्चर ऑफ द फोर्स व्हाई ही इज टेलिंग हिम एड्रेसिंग हिम इज परंतप बिकॉज़ ही हैज टू 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 अंडरटेक दैट ड्यूटी ऑफ हिज व्हिच he has got deluded and he has run away he is trying to escape from that duty and therefore shri krishna after giving this knowledge of sankhya karma and now he is going to give that great uh, uh, teaching of jnana karma sanyas and after and krishna knows that after his teaching his child his disciple his great friend arjuna 
he is once again going to stand up once again going to pick up his gandhian in his hands and he is going to attack the evil enemies in front of him all those evil minded cousins of his from whom for whom suddenly he has sprouted the love for them so shri krishna is now addressing him as parantapa reminding arjuna that you have that quality you are a scorcher of foes don't just uh, start crying uh, like this so uh, krishna says o oh, parantapa o oh, scorcher of foes evam param pra praptam imam ajarshayo viduhu evam evam is das parampara praptam parampara is handed down to regular generation succession parampara one after the other from vivaswata to manu from manu to ikshvaku from ikshvaku to all his uh, lineage down below like uh, i i told uh, yesterday that uh, in the line of ikshvaku lord rama was the 62nd descendant of ikshvaku so this knowledge has been actually shared by uh, you know, from from one generation to another and evam das parampara praptam imam raj rushayah vidu this knowledge this knowledge uh, raj uh, rushayah rajarshis the royal sages they also knew it it is not that the, the the royal family the dynastic families they kept this knowledge to themselves no it it came down it came down it was collected one and all even rajarshis the royal sages they also knew this knowledge sakale neha mahata saham this this knowledge alena iha mahata kalena is by laps of here here by lapse of time mahata by long long time by lapse of long time alena mahata by as, as so many years centuries millenniums they have gone slowly what has happened yoga nashta this knowledge this yoga this path destroyed this knowledge is such an ancient knowledge it i gave it we was for the right at the beginning of the creation when the sun lord came into existence when he uh, born a son manu and that manu he became the grand 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 great 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 grand sire of today's human race manu his father he got his knowledge from his father manu gave it to his son ishwaku and it came down the line it came from one generation to another even even the royal sages they knew of this knowledge but what happened over this long time frame over this long time frame of hundreds and thousands and millions of years this knowledge somehow destroyed it it kind of got uh, uh, unknown to people that oh there is such a path so imagine had that knowledge been retained there would not have been uh, any reason for this uh, mahabharata war to happen by the time of pandavas only that that, that uh, knowledge had started uh, you know getting destroyed between the lineage between rama and uh, Uh, you know subsequent uh, generations somewhere down the line that knowledge it just got vanished people never thought of what is the yoga how to bring our lower self in tune with the higher self all that knowledge it got destroyed and people started getting into the worldly activities worldly enjoyments and that started that started the self destruction now this whole uh, you know the happening shri krishna is killing arjuna 
thus transmitted in regular succession through generations the royal sages knew it this yoga this path by long flux of time got decayed in this world it got uh, uh, distorted people were not able to uh, relate to the path of yoga whether it is jnana whether it is karma whether it is sankhya whether it is bhakti whichever form of yoga it got totally distorted and people had started forgetting even there is something called as this path which will lead us which will lead our lower self to the higher self which will lead us to a stage where we can say oh it is all the lord's duty that i am doing it is not i am not the doer they had forgotten this path and therefore that egotism that aham that me and mine that iness it got predominance over the real nature the delusion of maya was so very great so much influential that the real nature was lost and the path to lead us to the real nature also got lost ale na mahata yogo nashta it got destroyed it got distorted people for what there is something like that Oh, scorcher or a fool! Oh, Parantapa, this is what has happened. The one great wisdom that I had given at one point of time it got destroyed. So, when the right type of mane becomes scarce, the right system also dwindles away. Naturally, when there are hundred good people, things will running will will always run in a smooth manner, in a nice manner, in a pleasant manner. But one uh, you know uh, rotten mango in the basket it will just spoil all other whatever you know good care 99 mangoes are being taken care of unless and until they are removed from that rotten mango and kept uh, somewhere else so the moment the 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 the, the morality the moment the the uh, you know this kind of uh, uh, <coughs> selflessness it gets diminished in the society all these uh, things that kauravas have been doing they, they 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 start happening as the shadow follows the substance the good system comes in again with the advent of proper people again krishna has to be born again a rama has to be born to revive that old system to show us the light to show us the path that the path is still there it is eternal path and shri krishna has told this path by itself not get i mean it, it it is imperishable it is akshara it is akshaya this path it may get covered with the dust of time it will be forget there is such path but the path remains and that's when that's when incarnations they come down amongst us incarnations like lord rama like lord krishna like jesus like buddha they came they come and they start teaching us this age got shri ram krishna as the incarnation to teach us the way of what is our real uh, intent of getting birth getting a human birth so uh, this is uh, what happens as the shadow follows the substance a good system comes in again with the advent of proper people and therefore shri krishna time and again says that this is the path you have to follow so that is uh, the uh, the wonderful uh, The reality that Sri Krishna has told us that although the path shown by Lord Himself at the beginning of the creation, how it got vanished, and Sri Krishna has told us that over a period of time it got distorted. People just forgot it. Uh, the, the, the path remains. A path is there for our upliftment, for our illumination, for our liberation. So, 
is uh, what Shri Krishna is trying to uh, make us remember that yes, there is something available for our liberation. Let us get back to that. And this is by telling to, to Arjuna, Krishna is telling us that the path is there. It had got destroyed. It doesn't matter. I will again revive it. So that was uh, Sri Krishna talking to Arjuna in the second uh, shlok of uh, Jnana Karma Sanyasa Yoga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sri Krishna Arpanamaitu. Jai Sri Ramakrishna. Jai Dham.